welcome back to my room. As you can tell, it's starting to look a little bit jazzy up in here because we've recently started to decorate finally and I'm really excited to share the entire process with you guys but I do feel like it's gonna take some time because I don't want to rush the process obviously I want to make sure that it just like reflects me and reflects Roger and that both feeling comfy and ready to share our space so stay tuned for that in the next couple of weeks but that probably won't be happening for a little while I just like wanted to put that out there but that is not what this video is about today we are going to be doing a DIY for this magical pair of jeans that has all this patchwork all over it you guys might have seen these in my last thrift haul if you've seen it cool if you haven't make sure to check it out because i found some incredible pieces there i asked a lot of you guys if you wanted to see me recreate these pants and an overwhelming amount of you did want to see it so that is what we're going to be doing today i feel like something that you guys don't really know about me is that i'm really good at sewing so i'm going to take that part of my life and incorporate it into some videos roger was about to throw out this really cute pair of Calvin Klein pants so yes these are men's pants but I don't give a crap I'm going to be using this for the DIY today I tried them on though and they fit pretty well with the exception of like the waist area so I'll probably just like be using a belt or something to cinch it in but I love the wash of these pants it's got some sort of like I don't know like worn in look that I really love and I'm going to be using a denim jacket that I know a lot of you guys are going to be upset that I'm going to be cutting but to be honest I just don't wear this jacket because I don't like the fit of it I feel like it's a little bit too cropped and it just makes my figure look too boxy I was going to sell it but I figured I might as well just reuse it for this DIY because I really just like wanted to try out like the white denim contrast look this is just a great way of reusing denim that you just don't wear in your closet and want to like change up a little bit or you can even thrift for them like I did I just didn't have jeans that I like absolutely hated and wanted to cut up for this project so I went to Altrian Vintage and I got these for 10 bucks and I'm a little bit nervous because I've never actually done patchwork before but I feel like it's easy enough and I hope that in saying that you guys try this out at home start out by drawing a pattern in your preferred shape. Could be a star, a triangle, the universe, but I will just stick to a flower since I wanted to go off of the pants I already have at home. For the center of my flower, I'm going to create an X axis two inches long and wide to help guide the circular shape that I will be drawing. I ain't no Monet, okay? I like my guide sometimes too. Go ahead and add one eighth to one quarter inch seam allowance so that you have space for the distressing you'll be doing later. I only really needed to draw half a circle though because you can fold it from the center line to create an almost perfect shape. And after I've cut that out, I put it up against the pants just to see if I got about the same size pattern as my original ones. You can now take your circle pattern and draw it out on another paper in order to help with drawing the petals out. This flower's petals are one and a half inch in length. You can again draw an axis and maybe some dots on your circle to help guide where you want the petals to end on your flower, but it really doesn't have to be perfect because you can clean up the edges later. And again, I just fold it in half to cut into a symmetrical shape. For your smaller flowers, the petals will be one inch instead, just to kind of change it up a little. Once you're finished with all of your patterns, it is time to pin them to your fabric. It doesn't really have to be on grain or any certain direction since they're basically just patches. Make sure that before you cut any fabric out though, you find a stable flat area to cut with so that it helps stabilize your hand and the fabric because ain't nobody got time for butterfingers. Also a lot more fun if you have at least three different shades of denim, including one that's similar to the pants you'll be DIYing on. It just gives it some funky texture and if you don't have three different articles of clothing just like me, you can always just use the other side of the fabric because more often than not, it's actually a different color than the front side of the fabric. we're on to the fun part of the entire project which is basically deciding where you want your flowers or your shapes. You can play around with it by moving the colors and layers. Just take your time with it until you're absolutely positive that they complement each other to your taste. You will also be needing a cap for this step. Otherwise, who will be there to help you decide where to put your shapes? Go ahead and secure it with you guessed it, more pins. I can't even tell you how many times I've killed my fingertips with them, so be careful. 
Now this part is optional, but if you have chalk, draw out your side seams so that you don't have to worry about where to sew. And finally, we are on to sewing it all together. These are the settings I had on my machine, but make sure to test out your tension on a spare piece of fabric until your stitches look nice and smooth. I'm not gonna lie, this part can be difficult because it gets super tight around the leg when you're sewing. One pro tip is to keep turning your pants around the machine to help loosen up the bulk, but if you're really not too good at sewing, go ahead and get yourself some fabric glue or even hand sew it. Make sure to try them on before continuing just to see if the fabric lays flat because once you fray those edges you really can't go back and you might just end up having to cut the pieces all over again. We are finally at the last step which is to distress. You can use tweezers to pull apart the pieces. This might take a little while so watch a movie or take them with you on your commute to school. Damn. <laughs> Stop. I also like the look of a frayed hem, so I cut off the ends of my hem too. And finally, make the edges appear even fluffier by popping them into the dryer, and they're all set. Oh my god, so wow. cute! Amazing! I love them! So that is it for this DIY. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like for me, and also let me know in a comment down below if you want to see any future thrift flips. And I would love if you guys showed me your own recreations at home, so make sure to tag me on my Instagram, which is at Diana Chamomile, as well as my Twitter. I always love chatting with you guys, and I love to see your thrift finds, which you guys tend to like DM over to me, so it'd be really cool to see your own take on it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you on the next video. Hi. Which one do you want? This one? Or this one? Uh -huh. This one? Uh -huh. So tell me what's wrong.